Hello everyone, FunshineX here, welcome back to TF in Motion Terraformer Craft Pack by Grim Korg. We are in his server and we have blue steel! Yes! Oh yeah! It's weak blue steel, but it's it's steel nonetheless. Uh, it's blue. Um, I went straight for blue because I accidentally dropped um, sterling silver in here instead of rose gold. So it's the same recipe, but if you do silver, it does the blue. If you do rose gold, it does the red. Uh, well, that's not what I want in there. Um... And I've got a ton more black steel to to mix with it. That's still going to be eight ingots, I believe. It. Let's see. Does this make? No. Show me. Show me this thing. Weak blue steel. Yeah, it only makes one. So you get two ingots and make only one. So I'm only going to get eight out of this. Uh, but I think I have enough blue steel uh, for the blue steel anvil. Um, just not enough black steel yet. So I just wanted to come on real quick and show you that I am getting the blue steel. Um, just so you can see how I did it. This is the recipe I used. I think I used like eight black steel ingots, three steel, two of each of those. Something like that made the right recipe. Um, I thought it was going to be easy. Just like five black steel, one of each of these, and two of these. But that was that did not add up to what I thought it did. So... Um, yeah, so I have to kept I had to keep adding things like I dropped another steel and then that was too high, so or the sterling silver is too low. Dropped one of each of those, then black steel was too low, and so yeah, you just keep going till till there's enough. And uh, yeah, we've got the blue steel, guys. End game, end game, sweet. I mean, look at all this stuff this opens. Not only does you know, well, we have to get that one and then this one. Um, blue steel, you get we get all the uh, the stuff that that makes in the anvil. Um, but then you start getting like electrical age stuff uses blue steel ingots for things, and then you get the alloy ingot which is used in electrical age as well. Magnetizer, oh my goodness! <laughs> so we're gonna need a lot of blue steel when we go to mods. So this is not just you know proving that we know how to terra firma craft. This is gonna be really important when we get to mods now. So what are we at? We're at um, eleven. We need fourteen. Oh, I think we have exactly enough. So if I get more black steel, we are going to be there. Oh, did I just throw that? Get back here. I'm keeping them nice and warm in there because we're going to have to weld them. Um, so might as well keep them. Oh, no. Yeah, shift clicking in this is bad because if you actually shift click the wrong stuff into something like this, like it could, if I put like another steel ingot, it would like totally screw the recipe. And then this would start pouring unknown crap into there, and oh, it would just be all messed up. So we have exactly 14 blue steel ingots. Uh, we'll get the 14 black steel ingots, and we'll make the blue anvil. And then we can make anything in the game in Terra Firma Craft, as far as tools. Um, so yeah, I still need to go and find that Kaelinite. Um, one way I did get a ton of steel back to, to be able to do this was I, I melded the steel anvil in a crucible. So that gave me 14 steel in its back. Um, doing, doing some iron as well. I need to go get more iron. I'm almost out of there. So yeah, I think I'm going to do just do a quick pause and I will go look for that kaolinite and be back and we can start making some blue steel tools. Be right back guys. And I'm back from the expedition. Look at all that kaolinite. No, there it is. Look at all that. Oh yeah, tons of kaolinite. It happened to be like, let's get the map out. Because <laughs> remember last time to get kaolinite, I had to go all the way to the equator. There was some right here. <laughs> I like, I sailed across my little lake. I landed here. I used my prospector's pick twice, and it's like traces of kaolinite. I'm like, are you freaking serious? It was right here the whole time. Ah, <sighs> so we mined up a ton, and now I'm ready to get a whole stack of fire bricks here. And hopefully that's the right recipe. There we go. Or fire clay, not fire bricks. Speaking of fire bricks, you know now that we have this uh, um, alloy smelter and we'll soon have a blast furnace, this thing's really not useful anymore. So I'm like, why do I even have it? <laughs> These iron sheets, I could melt down, I believe, and get tons of iron back. Because I don't need this big stack anymore. That thing I don't think I can do anything with. And then I've got all these extra fire bricks. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if you could turn fire brick blocks back into fire bricks? 
and then I could use them for my cake Coke oven. Huh? <laughs> well, I asked Grim about that, and he said he's actually going to use fire brick blocks in the recipe for the blast furnace. It only makes sense. Uh, swapping out the nether brick. So we won't have to get a ton of fire bricks for the nether brick. That'll just be, we'll just tear this guy down and use all these stuff and melt this down. Yeah, that's the plan. We don't need this big thing anymore. I'll just go back to my awesome looking chimney that's hidden behind it now. Because this big old monstrosity and wrecked my roof. And then I couldn't even light this forge because even though this is blocked, the rain was coming down and ruining it. So I had to put stupid wood up there. Ah, anyway, you can see I'm frustrated. But we have 64 fire clay now, so no, I don't want any more of that stuff. I want to make fire bricks. Yeah. Oh, netherrack. Alright. Do I want all of those? <laughs> let's let's look at this thing. Um Coke oven. We need to make this thing. This is three by three by three hollow, so that's twenty-six blocks. We make six at a time, so I'll have to make five to cover everything. So I need five times four is twenty fire bricks. Yeah, okay. So one, two, six, eight, ten, twenty. Okay. And as far as I know, the only way I can really still do these is a pick kiln because actually can I put this in like furnace mode? It is in furnace mode. Huh. It says you can smelt these. Look at that. Smelting. This is a smelter. Oh well. Gonna have to do them in the pit kiln. It's not like I don't have a billion pit kilns over here. Um, Grim, if you're watching, what, what smelter is that referring to in any eye? Is that like a vanilla furnace, which I can't get or something? Okay, I'm going to need to go get some um, logs and some more straw. Yeah, I don't have enough straw. Logs will be easy. I'll just cut down a Douglas fir. <laughs> oh, I actually had enough? Oh, I didn't have enough. Okay. Um, I actually have enough logs right here. Yeah, good enough. Nope, go in there. We need more. Must have more. Um, I think I've put more in here. I already started stacking this guy up. Okay. I want one. If I didn't grab enough, <laughs> I have to go back. Oh, I probably didn't. Dang it, I need eight more! But all this for a coke oven. Which we will use to get creosote, which we can use to make railroad tracks. Um, and then we can also start getting coal coke to put in our blast furnace once it's done. Alright, it is night, so this is actually going to be really easy. I'm just going to start those on fire, and then go sleep, and they should be done. Look at that. Very large sample of kaolinite. It's all over the place. Well, that was not a very filling sandwich. Ah, my sandwiches are decaying! 17% decay. I like eating, like, bacteria, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get a blast for it, or I mean a uh, coke oven this, this episode. So this is sweet. 20 of those. And we're mixing them with sand. Yeah. So we'll need five times five, 25 sand. That should be no problem. Yeah, I've got plenty. All right, and that is in the edges. Coke oven, sweet. Where are we gonna put this thing? Um, don't really have a good place for it. We're gonna have to start making a. Uh, Actually, it might fit well right here. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's get 
Move some of these. Hmm. Can I cut chop this down? I think the saw is the best way. Oh, that shows into my house. Bummer. Don't light the house on fire, Funshine. Wow, that was close. Alright, so let's just put it right here then. And we're done. Okay, cool. Sweet. Let us get some coal. And toss it on in there. Wait, wait, what? Minecraft coal. How do I get Minecraft coal? Okay. Whew! <laughs> I was like, no, please work. Okay, there it goes. We are making creosote, right? Yeah, it'll be slow. Awesome! And I have four blocks left. That's one of the, the things I hate about Railcraft multi-blocks, is you always have these extra blocks, and you're like, what do I do with these stupid blocks? Anyway. Um, I think I have two fireworks there, and two fireworks here. Might as well combine them in the same thing. So we've got the, uh, the Coke oven making. Um, we've got these. Let's get some more black steel. Yeah, okay. Give me a sec to make more black steel so we can get the, the blue anvil. Be right back. Okay, guys, we are back, and I think we've got enough. Oh, yeah. Well, that puppy. And weld to that guy. It's so much welding. <laughs> Makes the high carbon blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Bend and a punch. Four hits. Get you the blue steel ingot. And do I have one more pig iron ready to go? Yes, I do. Sweet. That's going to be our seven doubles. Nice. Stay warm enough to weld, please. Can weld, can weld, can weld. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Blue anvil, here we come. End game complete. Terra firma craft. You suck it. I beat you. Yeah. <laughs> I win. I win the game. Woohoo. It's blue. Oh, we may we're supposed to make a red one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, let's put the black one up there for right now. I need to, I could probably just melt it down. I don't see the point of having another black one, actually. What's the point of having a black one? Just put it in the crucible and get some more black steel. That'd be awesome. All right, don't need you to burn anymore. I started with like 64 molds and down to 17. <laughs> uh, you need to go in the well this one more time. Some pig iron here, a little more weak steel, and those more regular steel. Those can actually go in the dunk tank, cool off. And right here. For some reason I can't put my iron down, I'm not sure why. It won't go down on there anymore. Maybe I'll have to restart, or log out, log back in, and that'll work. So, yeah, while this is hot, we might as well melt this thing. Pump it a few times. You can see I got rid of one layer. That gave me 24 iron just for one layer <laughs> to take off. Oh, there we go. 1400 black steel. I guess we are going to need these things. What should we make? Should we go with a black steel pick? Because this one is almost completely broken. Which means 
Since this one's almost broken, we can put that there and that there. And as soon as this gets hot enough, it'll actually give us an ingot back, which is awesome. I mean, we used like the, it started with one ingot, we used it all up and we're gonna get an ingot back. So I'll, I'll take it. Definitely needs to get hotter though. All right, here's our unshaped black steel back. Just wanted to get not liquid form. This melt yet? Nope. Hotter. Must be hotter. What is what, what temperature? Brilliant white. Okay. I thought, thought it was. Oh, it's probably heating up itself. It's yeah. It's only very hot. It's got to heat up a long ways. So we can put that guy in there. Is this guy? He's white now. Sweet. Put that. And there, let's get a black pickaxe. Why are we not just getting a blue one? I don't know. You tell me. Because I don't know how to weld things. I'm putting them in the wrong place. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm forgetting recipes all over the place. And now I've lost... Where's my black steel? Oh, there's the weak one. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, need a, I need a blue steel pick. <laughs> Is that that hard? Okay, what's the recipe for blue steel again? Oh, I gotta make this crap again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll do that off camera. Let's just go ahead and make a black seal one just so we have that. We can melt it back down again. Because I kind of need one. No, go, go, go up to there. There we go. All right, so it's one of those, one of those, one of those, and probably one of those. Nope. Alright, got our black steel. Hey, I need some lights in here. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Okay, guys, well, well, I guess we gotta uh, keep wanting to wrap up, but we got more to do. More to do, more to do, more to do. Hey, I told you to give me a stick. There we go, black steel pickaxe, 5592. Oh, so sweet. Look at this thing, it's amazing. We'll use it for like a day and then we'll have blue steel. That's fine. Totally fine. Are you still melting? Oh, crap. I let him turn off. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I am definitely going to end the episode there. If you like to hit the like button, you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And next time we'll have all blue steel tools and we will start doing more mods. Um, I think we got up next up is the sag mill, um, which is not hard to make. We've already made pretty much every component here. Sagmill will take any of our ores and turn them into, I think, double it, basically. Or at least a percent, chi hand, percent chance higher at getting more um, more stuff. So, yeah, come back then. We'll do that. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And check out everybody else on the server. I'll see you guys later. Catch you later. Bye.